Hello and welcome back Legionaries, Mars Hill Magnus here bringing you some gameplay of Fabledom which is like a, it's a city kind of like planning game based in a fantasy really? world. <laughs> this is starting to get a bit awkward. I mean come on I know Isn't it's my it? first video back but it's not that bad, it's not that awkward. Okay so we're going to go ahead and start ourselves a lovely little town village uh, and build it up but this will be a the first episode in the series my first video back on the channel in a very long time and i'm going to promise you some consistency throughout the rest of the year so we're going to go with this map generation here it's a little bit annoying this chat but anyway he's the narrator of of the the story slash your city slash your romancing of of other rulers uh whoever they may be but we're going to play standard gameplay. We're going to enable the tutorial just to refresh how it's all done. Um, but we're going to have a little look around and have a look at where we can go. I quite like the name of Erodran, Ehodran, um, as a location. Um, although you go to Hiwi Hiwi Renara, <laughs> what is this? Um, and it's spread out all the way around this location here. This is almost landlocked, but it's just got enough coast on the side here, which is curious. Um, and Dossite, Dusite, few hills, large, dense forest. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Why not? We've got a lot of um, apparent uh, coastline here, so we're going to go with this. And for our coat of arms, hmm, go something a bit basic. Have we got anything that looks like a wreath? We don't. Let's go with the helmet. I'll go with this for a shield. That has a pattern. And color wise, we'll go for a lovely. Should we go for a purpley? Purpley color there. And then this color here can be some sort of gold. Orange. And the background, maybe. Go for a different purple. Just but just highlighting it. Maybe even black. Purple dark deeper purple black. There we go. And then this icon here. We're going for white. There we go. Done. So there's our coat of arms. Um, and our name is Mars Hill. I am a prince looking for a princess. And we're in Dulcite, but I'm going to call it Nova Roma. Nova Roma. Realm information. Medium size with hills. A large ocean. Ooh, okay. Dense forest and few hills. Realm size is medium. Let's go have a look. Ooh, an excellent choice. Chapter one, a new beginning. And here we are with our little fablings. Look at them. Wonderful people. Um, objectives in the bottom left. We've got to just press the keys, W, S, and D to move around. Holding or holding the right mouse button, you can move scroll around as well. Middle uh, mouse button to rotate and scroll wheel or K to zoom in or out. With that, we got our first 10 coins. Where were we? Oh, yes. Our kingdom began with little more than a humble laborer's hut. Now, where did that go again? Hmm. Let's see here. Hey. I'm going to go with our laborer's, lab, lab, laborer's hut. It's going to go there. So that's up and running. And then we've got to build five graveled road and assign a laborer. So we'll click on the laborer's hut. We will assign an individual and we will build some gravel road. And I'm thinking I'm just going to do a road all the way down here. Which is great. And we'll claim those coins. But now we have unlocked a homestead. And these homesteads, you can rotate pressing R or let it snap to the road. But I'm going to try and think about this a bit more. I'm going to pause it. How much does this cost to place? It's just... 25 gold which we have lots of but then the road is two and i'm going to try and plan this to have a a well oh i don't want to upgrade it that's absolutely not what i want to do like that um i'm gonna do Ooh, do i do it down here yeah let's just do this and through in the middle here we can put some other amenities, maybe some decorations, that kind of thing. But that's where the well is going to go. And I'm going to do a single road up. Which is actually better. That looks a lot better. Maybe I do that the same for over here. Let's 
So we're doing a little bit of city planning. Hopefully this will help me in the long run with just making sure everything's encompassed by future buildings that we find. But this is what I'm going to go for right now. It's a little bit tedious doing this. There's got to be a quick way of doing this. Probably not. There we go. And we'll do a road like that. Okay, very good. Now I'll build our first, first homestead. I think one there. And we'll build it some garden area here, or foundations as they're called. Homestead foundation. And within there, it's going to automatically randomize and assign various items here, which just give you desirability or food. As you can see, so we'll go ahead and build that one there, and we'll build another one opposite it too. There we go. So our first two homesteads are ready to be built. And we just got to wait for them to be built. So we're going to go ahead and unpause. And we're going to put this up to four times speed, as you can see here. It's, um, just hotkeys. F3 for three times speed. F2, two times speed. F1, one time speed. And we're just going to watch our fablings go about their day. I think I assigned a laborer. I did. And they are now going to start moving goods from the material cart, of which we've got 300 vegetables. 185 wood, 80 stone, and 40 coal. And these buildings. Ooh, the first homestead. Yippee! This is where your fablings live and eat. A head of household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly. Now, make sure one has been assigned, won't you? Well, I think that's done automatically. You can see here Alexander Bailey is the head of the ho household here. Um, but these are the various things that they need um, or they can store at the moment. Various different food types, so homegrown food, uh, fish, bread, vegetables, eggs, and coal. But this is what they want now for desirability. They want a basic well times two by, by the looks of it. So we'll go ahead and claim this. Um, so we've got an extra 10 coins for doing that. And we're going to go to essentials and just plant this here. As you can see here, it covers a nice large area and I should be able to... Just get another set of houses on this side over here as well, which I will do. So I'm going to build two more houses as well. Like that. That's the one there. Which, that's the front door right there. And we'll just do this and we'll do the same. You can actually cut effectively bl blueprint a load of these. Ah, finally, here come our first newcomers. As long as you keep your population happy, more will want to join. As long as there is room, of course. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. There we go. So we're going to welcome two new visitors. We now have six, a total population of six. So we need one more set of houses because um, I think we're only... Actually, that's a good question. How many do these occupy? Three in here. Three in there. Don't need to build another set of houses just yet. But we will need, well, by the looks of it, a farm. Well, it looks like some newcomers will arrive soon. But there's no available housing. Uh, to see how many days are left until the next arrival, hover over the population icon at the top of your screen. Okay, so with that, we're just going to go ahead and build the two new uh, homesteads. And that will accommodate, well, entice new peasants to come and join our lovely Nova Roma village that we have here. Um, but I'm probably going to go ahead and build a farm. Either there or actually over here, just outside of the water's range. Unless anything needs water. Does this need water? Does a bakery need water? Why look at it? No. So we're going to go and build a farm. Possibly over here. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and build... Hmm. What vegetables should we do? all do the same thing i guess it's more aesthetic so we're going to go with uh beach root go that way go like that and okay that's the maximum so let's go like that Just gotta make sure I could do a road around the edges here. Or maybe just two. I think that's it. Oh no, we can do two more. 
Um, just there. Bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but... Like that. And then we can do... Road down the side for anything that we want to... Can I do it into here? No, I can't. In the future. Fine. Good. I think that's just inside the watering area here. Does this need water? No, it does not. So we'll go ahead and build that. And we have our farm underway. We just deforested a ton of stuff there, which was not ideal. But we will need to get a lumber cap up and running. Now, where was that stone? The stone's over here, over there. I'm going to go and build a lumber camp there. And that will encompass all of this. We're going to welcome our new peasants. We've come to visitors. And they will have a house. There we go. We can actually house up to a population 12, which is great. Uh, this will need to be built soon. And we need to collect 200 in taxes, which we're slowly doing. Got some pigs over How here. How cute are those pigs? I hope they don't end up getting eaten. Oh, they will. They will indeed. Okay, so we're just going to wait for these to all build up. We've got it on three times speed. Also, there's a screenshot, cool little screenshot menu here. Unfortunately, you can't just t disable the UI um, and enjoy everyone moving around and going down about their daily business. But you can see here, someone's having a good time with their laundry, their clothing line. But we do have a beehive and a dog house in this one. Apple tree here and another beehive. So that's actually got doubled the, uh, the, the food income from homegrown. It's actually quite good. Right, okay, so now we have the farm up and running. We're going to assign a farmer. This one's almost empty, I hope. We're getting there. So we've got a farm doing farmy businesses. We have our lumber camp doing lumbery business. And we can actually welcome two new newcomers here. And we are now, we've just hit a milestone. Goodness gracious, we already managed to find enough fablings, brave enough to trust us with their livelihood, to call ourselves a hamlet. Going forward, your family will expect recurring, recurring payments of 10 gold to the family fund. Fine. Okay, so reward, you get resources, you receive 50 coin. We can now place an inn, a stone camp, a coal maker, a granary, a forester, and the list goes on. So... Probably want to look at getting an inn in place just to make our current residents happier. A nice place to rest after work and only operate if there's food available in storage, which we do have. And a granary, so we can actually start storing all this wonderful food that's coming from the farm. So, we're going to claim this objective here because we've now got an operational farm. And we have a lumber camp. So, it does say place three decorations, which I'm not going to do just yet. But I am... Ooh, the stockpile. Stores industrial resources in attached lots. Fine. And that can probably sit over here eventually, which I'm going to do like so. And I think that's as big as it gets. But in here, we're just going to have wood and stone. Nothing else for the time being. Because that's all we want to store, just wood and stone. And we'll just do this up to here. Fine. And whilst we have basic, no food production, we do want a granary up and going. So I'll place a granary here. Store our food. Um, how are we doing for resources? We've got plenty of wood, enough stone. We do need to get a stone camp up going. So, ooh, that's how it slots on, I think. Could go that way. Where's the front? That's my question. I think that can go there. That's good enough. Fine. And then, um, how do we know, firstly, um, who is currently assigned to do what? So we have this. This is good. We're going to bring in two more people. So now we have a... We've filled up our population now. We need to think about getting some more homesteads in place. I might expand this way. Yeah, that's fine. Water is covering those two areas there that I would like to go and build around so we just do one two place ourselves in foundation 
and we'll build it. We'll do the same here as well. Fine. And it looks like we need one person to work this. It's got enough attachments. And we're just going to start storing wood and stone in here for future endeavours. But very nice. This is such a lovely, like, chill out game. Um, well, it, it seems very chill out at the moment. Um, the, I love the graphic style and the fantasy like feel. The kind of like glitter that's just thrown over the, the, the art style that's in here. And everyone just generally looks quite happy and doll like almost. Um, and the color scheme. Love the color scheme as well. You wait until hit winter hits. It looks so pretty. Everything looks like it's glistening. With that lovely fantasy sparkle effect. <laughs> But we will need to think about an inn next, but we do need a lot more gold. We need 75. We only have 32, but we might be able to build this next. Um, oh, I'm going to hold on to this as long as I can until these are up and running. So I'm just going to keep this on the times three. I didn't. I My mistake. I need to have houses Ooh, ready. This can't be right. It seems you got a letter from a secret admirer. Odd. Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste. They're just joshing. <laughs> you can open it by clicking the letter icon at the top center of your screen. You will let me know if there's anything good. I don't I don't get out much anymore. Well, that's interesting. We've got a letter, but now I've just managed to build this, this homestead here. I can now pull in these two new visitors, which is ideal. But we'll have a look at that letter in a minute. We've just put down an inn, which is going to cover roughly the the same sort of area for housing um so we want to branch out this way and i think we could put in another couple of like two homesteads here and another two here so we'll do that now as well we'll put a road across where's my roads my road is here we'll go this way and we'll put two more homesteads down one build and we can't do the next one but at least we've got still got space so we have a maximum of 18 people um, just trying to find the management bits which allow you to see I click on here no food is fine do I need to employ another worker how many people do we have available to come and work we'll do that put one person in here that's fine that is like stocked to the brim and we'll put one person in here they all cost money to run you'll notice there's an upkeep here five gold on this one five here Houses don't have an upkeep. They just cost to build. But we're going to build another one here. And that should sort us out. Once this disappears, which it will, it will in time, has a storage of... Nope, that was being taken. So what, what's in the brackets that you saw there is I think it's what's being picked up and shifted. Oop. And we've got a lot of food in here. And I think this has got a ton of food coming in play as well. Yep, 215 food now. Well, welcome to new people. But let's have a look at this. This letter from... Agnes. Who's Agnes? Ah! Hello, Agnes. Dearest Prince, my son in spring, such a splendid land this is. Undulating hills and wide fertile plains, it is the dream of our ancestors. I wish to make this land into a paradise, but I cannot do it on my own. Your dashing countenance is already the talk of, the la of this land. Shall we meet Agnes, the Harvest Princess? Yes, and you can see she's got lovely wheat here, robins, and also a wreath around her head. We'll continue. We will speak to you soon, I presume. Lumber camp is chopping away here. Money is coming in. We need to place three decorations to proceed with, um, well, with the tutorial, I think maybe oh it actually does apply beautify ah the trusty village inn a personal favorite <laughs> the inn adds happiness to its surroundings and the happier your kingdom is the more efficient your workers get it also helps attract more visitors it's one i'll cover those two there there's a wooden bridge which is curious i can't do that here but can I put maybe maybe that's not going to cover those that's going to cover two there so we'll do that there and I think that's all three one 
two and three. And maybe I need one over here, but when we get our next... Um, we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll have another homestead on the other side. We've got to make sure the houses are here. Actually, it doesn't matter which side they're on, but that will fit them in. Okay, so that's our beautif beautifications up and running. I am going to get rid of this one, though. Oh, no. I really like that building. <laughs> it's not your decision, narrator, sir. Um, got 20 gold here. We are now a hamlet, and we're going to have to build a forester next. So where is our forester? We have a lumber camp. We have a stockpile. Where is the forester? Curious. Resources. Do I have to attach it onto here? And you do. Okay, fine. So we have a forester, and I'll just line it up with the back here. Perfect. So... It's one building which will do two jobs. I'm just going to put another person in there. This is running a little bit low on wood. And we have we'll get two people in there as well. But we need more houses. And I'm going to go and build some more over here, I think. So, you know, there. It's ready to go. Just need waiting for the gold to come in. And another one here. Perfect. We'll put it on times three speed. But here we go. Look at this. This is coming together very nicely. And I think we have access to fish eventually. Which Oh, here we go. Milestone reach. A new population milestone has been reached. Well done. We can now call ourselves a small village. Going forward, your fa family will expect recurring payments of 18 coin to the family fund. I'm getting taxed the more I expand. Great. Nobility can be used as a currency for special actions and items. It also influences some interactions with other rulers. Resources, you received 75 coin. I now have a messenger's guild. Messengers can be sent to other realms to greet their rulers, send messages and gifts. A sawmill, keep fingers away from the big sharp spinning blade, but I presume that's a tier two um, processed material. And now we can do a do new crop. Wheat grows over time as long as a farmer is assigned in the farm. Does not grow during winter. Fine. Okay, so we've got to think about farming and expanding soon because we've almost filled in this one small plot and I need land and pigs. So I'm thinking over here maybe is our next port of call. But we have a world event. Event, the magic bean needs your attention. Prince Mars Hill. I found this magical bean on my travels and immediately thought of you. I cannot tell you exactly what it does, but I heard it's quite extraordinary. The traveling merchant. Buy the magic bean. Buy some food. Decline the request or postpone. Well, we all know we have the giant beanstalk. Uh, should we give it a go and see what happens? Or should we just go for food? Starts placement. We'll start placement of material coffert. Or beanstalk. Go in beanstalk. Why not? Oh, I've got to place it somewhere. Um, we'll place it over here. Dickle bean or feed your people. I think you made the right choice. Giant beanstalk grows closer to the sky with each day. Maybe one day you can climb all the way into the clouds. This encounter can be interacted with using... Your hero once fully grown. Days remaining, 220. So that's a long-term... Crikey. That thing's going to slowly grow. I'm really curious to see where that takes us. Um, okay. Uh, we need a coal maker next. We did build the forester. Do I need to assign someone to the forester? Oh, it's almost built. It's not built yet. Okay, so this is all building. I need to get these up and going. There we go. And then we'll, we will hold fire with expanded because we've got a lot of space still. We've got six. Fine. Okay. So under resources, we need... This is the next thing we need, and I'll do that over by our... Hmm. Reduces five desirability to the area. So I think I've got a gap here. I might just go down here, and I'll build like a coal pit here. Fine. 
Do we need more lumberjacks? Probably. We'll get them assigned too because we're running low on wood. And... Income of 39 gold. Family aid, minus 5. Upkeep, tw 28. Okay. And have we got anyone in here? No, but we do. There we go. So we've got someone in here and that just immediately boosts the happiness of these areas here, I think. Yeah, we're up to 70 out of 100. And at your current ha happiness, Fablings will move, produce and gather resources with 110% efficiency. We like efficiency. We like our town bustling and developing at an increased rate, especially when more people want to move in, which is always really good. I think these are just inside. That's good. And then I'll build some more over this way. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go and... Well, we could go for a coal maker first. And I think I'm right to do it over here. And I'll just build a road down the side. Down here. And I will need to build a sawmill as well. Which also hasn't got the best desirabilities but i'll also put that there too so i'm going to change this to have coal and planks when those are up and running well would you look at that isn't that lovely with a giant beanstalk protruding out not exactly in the middle of our fair village but it's definitely part of the landscape, uh, or rather the, the skyline of our lovely little establishment. Uh, stone, yeah, that's fine. Wood is popping up, and we have plenty of people working on it. That's good. We will move industry further out eventually, because you can... I think there was a move option here. There is here. So you'd have to empty your workers, then you can move it around to maybe a more foresty area. So if I were to go out this way, I would then probably move the forest over here. Okay, two more people have joined. How are we doing? We just need, we need someone working on here. We need all the coal. That's good. And select a fabling using the overview menu. Here we are. Here's our overview. Here's Joe, Joe Myers. Select him. There we go. Assign the fabling to a workplace using the overview menu. Overview menu. So we could probably go and assign someone. Ah, here's the colors. Short to home, medium to home, far to home. So we've only got two unemployed workers. What is of a, a greater benefit? Probably none of those. Yeah, we'll get things built quicker. So we'll... Violet Ward, you can go work here. And we'll claim our money there and then we can buy a new territory so how do we buy a new territory i presume it's with t for territories there we go aha wow one large stone deposit ruins and two times fish or pig and trees tree bob bark skin the missing shoe and iron deposit or a small stone deposit i think we're going to want to expand it more farmland what on earth is that some sort of well i'm not too sure what we're going to be getting there. let's have a look a hazard a guess of what, what we're going to start getting but you need a small city a village for stone quarry iron quarry is a town let's have a look on the food production side village big village right we're going to go for larger larger space we're going to go over here so click this and we're going to confirm for 50 coin. And we actually get pigs as well. Look at that. Expansion. Small village. Population milestone. Bringing joy. Yeah, we're well ahead of the game. Now we've just got to wait for the coal. I'll speed that back up again. I think we will need another farm. So I'm going to just do that out to here. And I'm going to do a road just down the side here so as it signifies the edge of actually down here. Because this, this inn can do so many people. It can sort them out. So we'll do it here. So this could be a farm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and place the farm. We're going to do wheat. So maybe... Mm, I'll do one more up. Hmm. 
Oh, that's perfect. I need, was it eight by five? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, maybe divide by six. I'm just trying to figure out how to make this like perfectly square. So it's, it doesn't tell you how many, it's 40. We could do five by, five by eight. I'll have to do. There we are. So that will have been running. And then when we get the next level up and we have some commoners, we can start producing flour, grain, and all sorts. We'll unpause now and we'll have a look at the world event. Wood lovers, we have popular saying our club, you can never have too much wood. You can help provide us with some more. Of course. 70 wood. I don't have the resources, so I'm not going to accept this right now. I'm building too much stuff, so that's a no from me. Sorry. Okay. Three times speed. All right. Well, I think that we're going to call it there for our first episode. It's been good fun. It's nice to start creating content again, and I hope you enjoy this. Um... Just to let you know that there are a few other games that I'm really, really, really keen to play and do content on. As I'm sure some of you have heard of Manor Lords. I am, I've been waiting for that game for God knows how long since it was first and properly announced on Steam. Two million wish lists. It's going to be a cracking, cracking, cracking game. Uh, on top of that, I am also very excited for Bellrite, which is kind of like... How would you describe it? It's kind of like... Um, Bannerlord meets kind of like building a town and managing a colony but you are your own individual so that would be really cool too and there's some other in the pipeline but they're the main, main ones for the time being but if you've managed to make it this far into this particular episode please do not forget to like and subscribe it really helps we're going to try and blow up the channel again um, and when I say blow up we are actually going to dedicate to Let's try two to three videos a week and go from there. Each video will be 30 minutes long or 30 minutes plus, but no longer than, than 30, 25 minutes. Uh, sorry, 50. I'm going to call it there. Thank you so much for watching. This is Marcel Magnus signing out for now. Ciao.